gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie. This is Brian, my boyfriend, if you're new here. And what was I gonna say? <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, this is my boyfriend, Brian. And if you are new here, I make all shop with me videos. Pretty much anything to do with like home decor, home goods, Target, TJ Maxx, stores like that. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today is so exciting. I'm at a brand new store that I've never been to and we're at Old Time Pottery, if you can't see it from the title. I thought that this store was in more places, but I just looked on their website and they actually only have 39 stores in 11 states. But I figured even if you don't have one in your state, you might be interested in seeing what they have. We've never been here before, but I looked, like I said, on their website and they have like furniture, they have rugs, home decor, wall art, like just sounds like home goods so I'm really excited to get in there I have no idea what we're gonna find or what it's gonna be like some people have said that it's better than home goods so we're gonna have to go in and debunk this but a lot of people have requested that I check out this store I don't know if it's because they're interested in seeing what they have or they've gone and they just think that I would like it but I'm really excited to get in there so I don't want to blab on too much let's head inside to old time pottery and let's try to debunk this myth is it better than home goods I don't know we're about to find out okay first of all this store is massive it's broken up like floral walls and mirror decor glassware dinnerware housewares furniture Definitely want to start with like the furniture, but whoa, this store is overwhelming. So right when you walk in, there's like all the outdoor furniture. The prices are good. Like these chairs, like the couches, the outdoor couches are $2.50. I'm not sure if they do like coupons or anything. It's definitely something I'm going to have to like figure out. But the prices, at least on this outdoor stuff, are really good. In the outdoor section, they have these like indoor outdoor resin wicker stools. Or is this a stool? Yeah, I think it is. Honestly, it's a really pretty color. But yeah, everything is honestly like a pretty good price. Brian's over here like setting stuff up. They also have like lots of different like outdoor cushions and stuff. Yeah, it looks like it made it a lot comfier. This is awesome. What are your first thoughts of the store? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, there's definitely no way we get to everything today. Today's gonna be like an overview and our general thoughts. And if you want me to do more videos here, I definitely can because honestly, first impressions, I kind of like this store. I like it better than at home, I think. First impressions, it, it's like huge, but it's really organized, it seems. Definitely. Like everything is really organized, everything's in its place. And I really like that. That is not the same at, at home. So next to outdoor furniture is floral. Similar deal to like Hobby Lobby, just tons of florals. And then they have like pots and stuff. These pots are so cool. They have like the wicker bamboo rattan on the outside, rattan. And they have a couple different sizes. Like this smaller one is only $9.99. The big one is $24.99 and they do have it in like a couple different colors. We thought it was like this shape, like this hourglass shape, but this is just two stacked on top of each other. But this is great deals so far. It's like if Home Goods and Hobby Lobby had a baby and then that baby was a superhuman that was the size of Godzilla. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, like major Hobby Lobby vibes because they have like a whole aisle just of like foam and stuff. And then other things to like make floral arrangements. So many like pots, plant stands, but like really, really cool pots and stuff like super good price like this huge pot is $30 I'm kind of like rushing to get to the furniture I really want to see the furniture section but they have, there's just so much stuff here this store is so cool so they do have some sort of like clearance and stuff like 25% off green line clearance so I don't know really what that means just look for the green sticker or a green line through there so 25% off anything with the green on it right now. This is literally my worst nightmare. If you know, you know. Getting into like the furniture section. So this is all like accent chairs. And then they have like the boxes down here, but everything says, please ask for assistance. So I guess if you need assistance, they are happy to help. So some of the furniture has like the little green sticker on it. So this is included in the 25% off. 
These are like these gingham accent chairs. But then also these like beige ones too. These ones are actually beautiful. Like White. those chairs are super nice, yeah. And they are $200 and then 25% off. Getting into like accent tables, which is something we're on the hunt for. This one's kind of cool. I like the texture on this. I guess we're finding some cool stuff. Brian really wants a bar cart. I'm not really feeling it, but he really wants one. That one's kind of cool. They have like this one. They have this one that has like a really interesting curve, if you can see that. It doesn't have that curve on this side. And they have another one like deep in there. Bunch of furniture pieces. This desk is super nice. It's gray. It has two drawers. It's actually really big. This desk is very nice. They have this pedestal table. This is really, really nice too. Honestly, some of this stuff doesn't have prices on it, so that makes it super difficult. But this pedestal table is gorgeous. This one's really pretty too. Little like entertainment center with glass, two little glass doors. I love like the clean look of it. This one is really nice. I think it is $200 and it's like woven on the front so you can see like what's inside of it. I wish it was a different color. We're thinking about going with like a black accent cabinet for um, like our entryway type area. But this is more of like a chocolate brown color. This one is nice too. I like that it has the rack on the bottom so you could put like little decorative baskets and stuff. And then the detailing up here is just really nice. It almost has like a brushed bronze look. And it's just like all the different like textures and stuff with these two really nice big drawers. And this one is $249 but green sticker so 25% off. Another cute little nightstand with a door. <laughs> the door and then a little drawer. And then on the top it's wood, it's not like whitewashed, which I like. My issue with getting nightstands like this is like, on his side it will open the right way, but on my side it will be like far away, like the knob will be far away. Which is the only reason I don't wanna get a nightstand that has doors like this, cause they never make them where you can get the door like going either way. It's always the door going one way, so. That's why I wouldn't wanna get these. The thing about this door is like stuff is like hidden behind. So like this really cool nightstand with like baskets is hidden behind this one. And then a cool like cane detailing one is hidden behind that one. So you really have to dig. We are over in like mirrors now. Hey, they're a great price. This one is huge. It's super tall and it's only $89.99. They have some really pretty like frames and stuff. Like I really, really like this gray one. And these mirrors are absolutely massive. Like the, here's me. There's the top of the mirror. Like, it's probably like nine feet tall. I wanna get a new stand-up mirror for our room. The one we have now, like, isn't gonna go when I get all the stuff for our room. Stay tuned for a master bedroom shop and decorate with me. Not coming, like, super soon, but, like, in the future, because I have to get a lot of the stuff online. But I wanna get a really tall black mirror, but with, like, a really simple black frame, I think. That's kind of what I have in my brain pictured. They have lots of mirrors that are, like, different shapes and stuff, too. Like, all different decor types. They have, like, modern, boho, transitional, farmhouse, and, like, little more, like, decorative ones, too. I don't know. Is this, like, a one-stop shop, guys? Is this where you can find it all? Oh, these ones are really cool and modern. I really like the shape of these. I like the simple black frame too. They're like oval mirror kind of, squoval. Those are cool. Over in like the wall decor section, I'm getting like mega Hobby Lobby vibes with like all of these like little shelves and stuff. They have a lot of different styles as well. I'm like really pleasantly surprised with this store. This is adorable, little like mug rack. It says, but first coffee. I'm sure someone owns this and has all their Ray Dunn mugs on it. I could see that for sure. Yeah, it has like glasses at the bottom. They have tons of things for like wine and stuff too. Yes, yeah, so you like sift the glasses through it and they hang down. That's cool with all like the wine bottles and stuff. That's super nice. They have like wine and all these different little cork holders, decorative type things and they have like nautical, more industrial, and then tons of little like ledges and decorative little shelves and stuff. All different shapes, materials, and sizes. These would be really adorable for like a playroom or a kid's bedroom or just a llama enthusiast. They have this one that says, welcome to my she shed. And I swear I've seen this at Hobby Lobby. I really do think I have. 
for $7.99. It's honestly a really good price. If you can see compared to my hand, it's a great size. They have these huge signs that I think are like coat hangers because um, they have these big hooks on them. Stay a while in Happy Home and these are only $50 a piece. Rise and shine, it's coffee time. Flower market. I like this one that says Home Sweet Home. It kind of has like a tile look. This is us. This is where things get like a little less organized, I feel like. Oh my gosh, this is us. Sorry, I can't, I have plans with my dog. Who's that me? Maybe swearing will help. <laughs> this is us. Worth mentioning too, they have lots of barstool options. These are like $99 a piece. They have them in a couple different colors. They have like more industrial ones. They have upholstered ones, so depending on what you're looking for, they have a lot of options here and a lot of stock as well. So here's a bit more like organization. I feel like that would be like farmhouse, like all the stuff we just saw was definitely farmhouse. And here is definitely nautical. Lots of fish, paddles, mermaid tails, fish tails. I actually really like that one. If you do like nautical farmhouse, that would be perfect. But they have tons of that stuff here too. Obsessed with the vase section here. Look at all these ginger jars. I finally learned the names. I've been seeing these a ton at Home Goods. They're very trendy right now. These like blue and white ginger jars. This looks just like a vase I got at Home Goods. It's the exact same texture. It's just a different shape. And this one is $20. They have them broken up by like color almost or type, I feel like. Here's that same like texture again. I really, really like this. This is so cool for $14.99. But they have everything broken up. And some of these are 25% off. Like they have the green sticker on them. I like this one a lot. It's kind of like a canister. Be perfect for like Q-tips in a bathroom or cotton buds or something or cotton balls. I mean, I think cotton buds and Q-tips are the same thing. But that's a nice one. And that is $12.99. All of these different shaped clear ones would be perfect for that trick where you mix acrylic paint and baking soda to make it look textured they have like a bunch of different shapes and sizes here you could diy something so cool but i will say it'd be much cheaper to get it from like goodwill like a vase from goodwill or from the dollar tree or dollar general they have really cute clear vases there for super cheap they have aisles upon aisles of baskets i don't know if they're a good deal 60 bucks for this with a lid I feel like that's actually not a bad deal. Maybe it'd be like 50 at Home Goods, but they have just so many baskets, so many shapes, lids, no lids, colors, wire. They have so many. This one is $15. This one with the gray is $20. Yeah, I feel like the baskets here are a great deal. And like I said, this is just one of the aisles. Like they have aisles upon aisles of different shaped baskets. See? I wasn't lying. More baskets. So they have like linens, like bed linen, bathroom towels, and then like all pillows and stuff, like all different types of pillows kitchen towels and then aisles of throw pillows like are you kidding me how have i never been here before okay so this pillow is sticking out catching my attention i want to see how much it is because that's the only fair way oh i've definitely i've literally seen this pillow at home goods this confirms it they have the same stuff here that they have at home goods and this is the confirmation. I wish I could find a pillow that we literally have on our couch. Like that would just really make my day. But a lot of these look so similar to the stuff I picked up for our couch. So there's only one way to figure it out if it's a good deal or not. So this pillow is $17.99. I think it was around the same price. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less at Home Goods. I'm shook, you guys. They really have the same stuff as Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. They also have a lot of bedding sets like bed in a bags and it's like broken up kind of by like color this is more like quilts and then we're getting into like outdoor pillows and cushions tons of sheets throw blankets and more outdoor rugs than you could ever wish to find honestly and indoor rugs too this is just literally an entire rug section you guys, Home Goods could never. They just never could. This is insane. I really like this white fuzzy rug. I have no idea how much something like this would cost. So they have this indoor outdoor rug, seven by 10, 
It's like black and white. I actually really like the look of it. I think that you are allowed to open them up right here. And this is $99. I love that. Just found this little like step bin. I'm obsessed with the look of it, the white with the wood. It's the tiniest trash can you've ever seen. $12.99. And then they have these big ones, which I've definitely seen these at Home Goods, like this exact brand. And this is a big one for $24.99. You can definitely see the size comparison, but I've absolutely seen this brand at Home Goods for sure. They have all like kitchenware too. So all brands like Farberware and Craft Kitchen, all those brands, same thing. Cambridge, you definitely find this stuff at Home Goods. A lot of it has the green sticker as well, so 25% off. Oh, serveware. I've actually been looking for serveware like this, but in gold, because all of our stuff is gold. So I've been looking for like serving spoons and stuff in gold. This is giving me at-home vibes for sure, like these dinner box sets. They have a bunch of different patterns, and I feel like I saw a lot of stuff like this at, at home. If you aren't wanting to buy sets, they do sell it in individuals as well. And like I said, this is the dinnerware section. They have this whole section full of like little dip cups, like little ramekins. They have square ones, rounded ones that, oh, these ones look like little like crock dishes. Isn't that like a dim sum spoon? <laughs> but these are fun. We are two of the sauciest people you've ever met in, in sauce bosses, saucy people in many ways. They also are starting to put out like beachy summer stuff too. So they have beach umbrellas. They have these like beach or more like camping chairs I feel like. Then they have beach chairs. They have the ones that have six different positions where you can like tilt it back. Then they have one position and these are $25. All right, so final thoughts. Cause we're kind of like, we've walked all around the store and I feel like we've looked at a lot of stuff. I really, really like this store. I think Great it's store. very organized. They have a lot of stuff to look at, but it's not overwhelming. No. It's literally like if Home Goods and Hobby Lobby had a baby, like you said, but like organized. So kind of like a better version of the at home store. I think so. Yeah, for sure. Everything seems like nice. Nothing, we didn't find anything damaged. And yeah, I really, really like it. The prices are great, just like Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. Um, and similar to Hobby Lobby where they do like sales and stuff, like if anything had a green sticker, it was 25% off. And they might also do coupons too. Like I said, I'm not sure. I should have done better research before I came in. But I really, really like it. I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. My only, yeah, the, yeah, I think nine out of 10. The only downfall would be it seems like they turn inventory over slower. Yeah, yeah, so like every like time it, I come, they're probably gonna have the same stuff. Yeah. I agree. I feel the same way. I'm excited to see what they have for Christmas. This will oh be God. a new store to come for Christmas. So I'm excited to see what they end up having for Christmas. But yeah, this was a really good store. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10, more which baskets. is big. Yeah, more, more baskets. <laughs> this is literally a whole other aisle of baskets. I didn't even show you guys these ones. But yeah, it's a really good store. I really liked it. And if you have one near you, or if you're like traveling, like driving to a vacation and you pass one, I feel like it's worth stopping in, so. Nine out of ten, I agree. That's our review of the at-home store. No. No? We're not the at-home. Oh, this is our review of Old Time Pottery. <laughs> okay, just decided to ask an employee. She says that they get new trucks every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I asked, like, do you feel like you get a lot of the same stuff that you're restocking, or is it all new stuff? And she says it's always new stuff. And then she also said that the green clearance sale that they have right now these items, the, all the ones that have the green stickers, will go 50% off next month, and then 75% off, and then 90% off until all that stuff is gone, and then a whole new batch of stuff goes 25, 50, 70, and then 90. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep coming back here. Definitely let me know down below in the comments if you want me to keep shopping here, but that was really cool info. Does well, your so opinion change? <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. They get new stuff three times a week. It just doesn't seem like it, but. It's not better than Home Goods. It's better than Hobby Lobby, in my in my opinion, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's just, mm -hmm. it's like the same, but different. It's both of them together. Right. Oh my gosh. This is a cool store. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope that you loved seeing everything at Old Time Pottery. What a crazy experience. Honestly, it's so fun going into stores that I've never been into before. It can be really overwhelming because there's so much stuff to look at. It's kind of like the first time I went to the store at home. That was definitely the most overwhelming shopping experience I've ever had since I started my YouTube channel. But this was just as fun as that. If you loved this video, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss all my new videos. And also make sure 
sure to let me know down below what was your favorite thing I showed in today's video. But that is gonna be it from us today, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!